What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back in my closet to watch episode 5 of Kotro Lives Alone. So last episode we had Kotro hanging out with some friends. Uh, he was teaching one of them that he, that he needs to get stronger and become more independent and not rely so much on his housemaid. Uh, he ran away with one of his other friends who then came back to Kotro's apartment to find he had no parents, so Kotaro just felt really lonely. Uh, everyone at the apartment celebrated Kotaro's fifth birthday with him, and Kotaro did not know that birthdays were meant to be celebrated or, or a celebration for the person, because I guess he never really celebrated his birthday with his parents. Uh, Kobayashi, the accountant lady, uh, came over again and Kotaro asked her where the money really comes from and she held strong even though she was drunk and didn't reveal to him who it's coming from but Kotaro has an idea uh, and then Karino uh, is in the PTA and he actually volunteered to help with one of the activities and he got everyone in the apartment and everyone that uh, knows Kotaro to help out at the stands so it was really nice for the one of the moms there to see that Kotaro has a support group that cares about him and Kotaro was really happy that they all came so I'm ready to get more feels feel the feels we're getting uh, more reveals on the parents so yeah let's jump into episode 5 of Kotaro Lives Alone right now ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティッシュ。ティ
he'd make the extra plates to act like friends. Okay. Oh no, Kotaro. Oh. <laughs> Fake smiling. Oh, nice smile. <laughs> But it's a fake smile. Look at him. Look at that smile. <laughs> Ooh. Slice him up. Boom. Dang, he lost his parents. Oh. <laughs> Dang. He is too aware. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's creepy. It comes to a point where it gets a little creepy. <laughs> He's been through too much. Oh, who is this? Oh, Kotaro. Who's this friend? Dang, he, had to, he had to get away from his dad. <laughs> Made a promise a whole year ago. Okay, Ryoto, big homie. Oh no. <laughs> 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 Dang. Kotro doesn't think he could get married. Oh, dang. <laughs> Just have to say Tono Solomon. <laughs> You're getting sucked in, Kotaro. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little too mature. 
Okay, this editor is a real one. Yup. Yup. Like I've been saying, Potro had to grow up way too fast. <laughs> Pregnant? <laughs> All of them. Oh, he wants her to go home. Jeez, Kotaro. Oh no, he thinks. Okay. Okay, at least he doesn't know that she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peach Boy Riverside. <laughs> Uh -oh. Is that gonna trigger some memories? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, practice swings, yeah. Oh. Okay, not too many feels in this one. A lot of feel good, feel good. Uh, so Kotaro was fake smiling. He can read a fake smile. Uh, I really hope he wasn't eating tissues. Because he looks like he's a good cook. But maybe he was eating it earlier in his life. Uh, editor, the editor boss, real nice dude. Showed him how to be a kid or gave him some time to be a kid, which he really needs because he just had to go through so much uh, trauma and having to mature real quickly. And now let's hope he realizes that being born wasn't like a burden or anything to his parents and it was actually something out of love. So yeah, pretty good episode of Control Lives Alone. A lot less more feels, but still a good episode. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.